Hey Beachbody coaches, it's Pam here coming from Destin, Florida. Hey, it's such a beautiful Saturday that before I get into the success club tips, I want to just give you a glimpse of this park that I live by. I can walk here and I can do some personal development reading, get inspired, get creative, whatever. Just get away from the whole day's activities. There's um, beautiful, beautiful old trees and it's very old. It's been here for a long time lots of family time just a great place to come I'm so grateful that I can come here anyway back to uh, why I'm making this video success club tips okay one of the things that I did differently this month for September is I got this book back out eat that frog okay many of you have read it many of you have it sitting there and you haven't read it many of you don't have it go get it okay I'll be the first to admit that I'm really bad at time management, okay? So with a full-time job, uh, two kids, one actually just went to college, I've got to manage my time if I'm gonna be successful in this business. I'm an occupational therapist, so I do home health, so during the eight-hour day of the week, Monday through Friday, I'm running around seeing patients all day. Um, and then I have paperwork. So if I'm gonna be a successful coach, I'm gonna have to manage my time. If I'm gonna make a success club, I gotta manage my time. So, being my biggest downfall, and maybe if it's some of yours, I'd say go get this book, Brian Tracy, Eat That Frog, read it, get a handle on that time management. Um, you might be asking, well, how is that gonna make me make success club? It's because what you put up here is the difference. If you're learning how to manage your 24 hours, you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna invite more people to your challenge group. You are. You're gonna reach out to more people. You're gonna talk about it. When I'm reading this kind of stuff, I talk about it during the day. I don't hold back. And if I'm not reading, I'm like kind of shy, and I don't want to say nothing right now. I don't feel it, you know. But if I'm reading and I've got my got a handle on my day, I'm gonna share so much more. It's just the way it is. Um, another tip: what I did for uh, September, I did the 21 day challenge group. Of course, it was on sales. So capitalize on those whenever it's on sale but I wanted to add my personal flair to it or something really personal to it and I look around every day and I see people struggling with hurts and pains and things that they say stuck in you know they can't move on in life so I wanted to offer the whole challenge group of 21 day fix I called it project you and I offered them a free book um, called the art of forgiveness by Lewis Smeads and it's a beautiful book on forgiving others that have hurt you um, or even forgiving yourself for something you've you've done in the past that you're staying stuck in. I mean, it's all around you, you know? So I, I'm just thinking I'm gonna offer them something personal that can help them. So if, if to me, if someone is working out really hard with one of our killer workouts, trying to eat right, and they're getting some great personal development, you know what, they're gonna really be successful. They're gonna be even more successful. They're gonna feel good about themselves again. And that's where it's at, that's what we do. So to offer them the book for free, I just posted it as it's an invest, it's, it's an investment in you, it's Project You, and just for you starting your journey with me as your coach, I'm gonna give you a free book that can help you with your journey in life. So that's what I did. And I got a tremendous response from that. When I posted that, or when I, included it in my um, personal invites. I got a lot of response from that. Tell me about this book. What are you doing? I need to do this. I need to change my life. Whatever. And people started opening up. So it's, again, about caring. And you hear all of us say it over and over again. But that's what it comes down to. Um, not just pushing it out there as, hey, something's on sale today. You know, buy it from me. But how can you make it kind of your own and add your own little flair and personality into it? of the way that you help people. So think about that. And there's tons of books you could offer to to, um, to give for free and they're not very expensive. And remember these people are investing in you as their coach, they trust in you. So you can afford to spend a little bit back on them to help them even more. Um, anyway, those are my tips. This is my beautiful day, my beautiful Saturday in Destin. So I'll see you guys later.